Uh, on the other hand, they are probably the most insidious pollutants in all of human history. So we're talking about a class of chemicals that persist in the environment for hundreds or even thousands of years. And in fact, I came across one document in my research, an internal industry document that suggested some of them have half-lives of up to um, a million years. So that is way longer than plutonium. We're talking about a time scale that's, that's more akin to nuclear waste. Those that have been studied are highly toxic, even in the most minuscule of doses, and they are literally polluting the entire planet, including human blood and ecosystems in the remotest parts of the world. Uh, and I know Maria and I have talked about the fact that a lot of people right now are preoccupied preoccupied with microplastics and the fact that we have microplastics in our brain and that there's microplastics in the deepest parts of the ocean. Well, these chemicals are all of the places that we find microplastics. They're, they're arguably even more ubiquitous. Uh, but while the, the evidence tying microplastics to disease is, is still fledgling, the evidence tying these chemicals to disease is, is very robust. So much stronger than with microplastics. And, and while I was reporting one of those stories, I happened to stumble across a lawsuit that a family of West Virginia farmers had filed against DuPont. Uh, so in the 1980s, DuPont had bought some of these farmers acreage for a landfill. And after that, the cows on this family's farm started sprouting tumors, vomiting blood, uh, and pretty soon the cows were dying faster than the family could bury them. And family members were falling ill and having to be hospitalized with mysterious chemical burns, breathing problems, or, there were all kinds of issues. So the family was convinced the landfill was to blame and they filed suit against DuPont. And their case wound up exposing this breathtaking cover-up involving a certain forever chemical known as PFOA that is used to make Teflon 